everyone, and welcome to the 53rd annual Apple Blossom Parade here in Westford. I'm Mary McCauley, one of your hosts. And I'm Mary Elliott, also one of your hosts today. We are um, the Marys from Married to Real Estate, our podcast, and we are thrilled to be hosting the Apple Blossom Parade today. Yep, it's a beautiful day, so you still, there's still time to come out before it starts, and um, it's what, 88 degrees it's, today yep. it's going to be, and yep. gorgeous here in the center of uh, Westford. Wear a hat, bring your sunglasses, throw on some sunscreen, and come down and <laughs> check it out. It's a beautiful day, and we're so excited to see this parade get underway. It's going to start in just a few minutes. Yep, there are a couple of um, detours that are going on, so be aware of that. The roads are going to be closed until about noon. Um, so the parade is from 10 to 11, and then it'll um, end at the Abbott School where they'll have a ceremony for um, the Kiwanis Person of the Year, the Kiwanians of the Year, and the Apple Blossom Teen, Teen. Scholarship recipient. Yes, that's right. So all very exciting stuff, mm -hmm. and we can't wait to get started. So just a little bit about Mary and myself. We're both real estate agents at Keller Williams Merrimack Valley here in Westford. And uh, as Mary mentioned, we do a podcast called Married to Real Estate with Mary Forrester, who couldn't be with us today. This poor woman is in Florida. Yeah, it's on very vacation, sad for her. So we yeah. feel really bad. <laughs> but she would have loved to be here, and it would have been great to have her. Yeah. Um, Mary and I are so honored that uh, we were asked by Westford Cats to uh, do their first live stream ever of the parade. So um, kudos to Westford Cats for um, being, you know, setting this whole setup up. Um, Sarah Fletcher Absolutely. and uh, Nick Woodbury, Melanie, Tristan, Nick, the whole gang. Yep, we're, we're, we're so impressed watching them set everything up and get this going and do a live stream outside for the first time. It's really, really impressive. These right. guys know what they're doing. <laughs> if you need a production, get get a, a hold of them. Right, so that <laughs> does, you know, bring up an interesting point, Mary. A lot of people aren't aware of the things that Westford Cat has to offer. Mm. Um, there's camps in the summer. There's um, uh, Capstone Westford Academy. The seniors do their Capstone internship. And they do a great job of training people and making it really fun. Um, Melanie is, um, has been an intern. Um, and there are a couple of other um, really good volunteers. And yeah, the, the camp is so great. She do, I, they do them every school break, I believe. They yeah, have camps going on. During the on. summer, too, I and believe. During the, sum during the summer. It's it's really great outlet for those kids that love this kind of thing, audio, visual stuff, <laughs> learning the tech um, industry, or being in front of the camera. Right, getting used yeah. to it. I mean, you know, we've been doing the podcast for a few months now, every other Friday, usually. Usually. And, um, you know, we've gotten used to the equipment and, yeah. and used to each other and sort of used to Nick, who produces all of our... That's right. Um, we but love if you, you, Nick. Yeah, we do love Nick. <laughs> um, but uh, if you want more information on any of it, reach out to westwardcat.org. Um, take a look. That's where you'll see some of the stories, all of the school meetings, um, anything that happens in Westford and around, they take care of. So and you're going to... Ooh, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. You're going to see their van drive through on the parade. It looks like cats. Oh, yeah. Very, very cute. They have a very cute cat in the hat sort of theme, and it's adorable. You'll see that go by at some point soon. Yep, with Sarah, Christy, and Susan. That's in right. The van. They're so. in the van. They'll That's be candy great. tossed out about, <laughs> and we want to make sure that people aren't tossing any candy that has peanuts in it out there. There are peanut allergies we need to be aware of. So just keep that in mind if you are coming down. Um, make sure it's not peanut if you have, have an allergy. Right. Um, let's see, what else do we have? So what else? Um, so tonight, um, later today, so the, oh, the Apple Blossom Festival is the Kiwana's biggest fundraiser of the year. And um, they, it started on Wednesday with the carnival. And anyone that's familiar with Westford has been to that carnival. Their kids have been to that carnival. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really, really good time over the Abbott School. And they had fireworks last night after dark. And they're going to have fireworks again today, uh, tonight. We're not sure of the exact time because yeah. it just has to be pitch black. Enough. After dark. So after dark yes. is about as close as we can get. Yep. But um, definitely come out, go to the carnival. You know, tons of rides, lots of fun. I mean, everybody's here, guys. There's anybody, everybody who's anybody is here today. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, what's interesting is that, you know, it is the 53rd annual, and I didn't realize that. I've been a Westford resident for um, 17 years, 
and um, been to the parade. My kids marched in the parade. Okay. Um, you know, avoided the parade. <laughs> right, right. Crowded when Saturday, needed to, beautiful yeah. Saturday yep. roads. Anyway, the detoured roads. Um, but what's so amazing is that it's a really big community um, come together experience. You know, from the police and the fire, the library, obviously Westford Cat, local businesses. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to see some of the floats. I know the um, the Fletcher Library ladies have a, always have a, they're always a... Got a, a Pied Piper theme going on yes. of some sort. We'll see what that's <laughs> about when they come by. And I think they're going to stop in and talk to us as they, as they come through. So look forward to that. But yes, about the Apple Blossom Festival, it's so historic. It's a historic thing and actually started back in 1936 and this has been going 35, on or 35 yeah and that, oh yeah you're right 1935 yeah <laughs> notes um, but it, it went on for for about 30 years then or t I don't know a few years and then took a break and restarted in 1968 and it's been going on ever since then and it's just one of those things that has weaved itself into the fabric of Westford and is part of every single year. And I think now, post-COVID, everybody's so excited to come out and be all together. And so this is a particularly momentous one. I think so, well, because we're here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Westford Cat is live streaming it. So that's right. That's very exciting. We have these beautiful corsages that were gifted to us, donated by West, uh, Westford's own floral arts, Mike, uh, Mike Spanos. Thank so you, thank Mike. you, Mike. Um, beautiful work, local business. We love to support that. And um, oh, I oh, hear the sirens. I'm starting to hear some sirens which, coming down the road. Right. Which um, the parade is kicked off this year by the lead cruiser is Officer McEnany and his family. So we can't wait to see them mm -hmm. come on by. And here go the church bells. So church bells it's marking official. the start of the parade. Here we go, guys. <laughs> so know. exciting. Can't wait see the first float yep so this parade like anyone has all things to offer you know there are people walking by with carts to buy you know big giant hammers yeah. we saw someone with a giant sled blow up sledgehammer mm -hmm. and balloons and horns and things so aside from all the candy um, what's your favorite thing about a parade Mary um, I too love like the noisemakers, the <laughs> the kids running to pick up candy. I, I think that's always adorable. Yeah. But I also really like the floats. I'm always very interested to see floats or parade participants to see what creative things people have come up with to sort of stand out. And I think it's yep. very exciting. Well, and, and who doesn't love a marching band? The that's Academy right. Academy and the uh, middle school band is going to be um, mm -hmm. in the parade. So I always look forward to that. I was a a band person myself in middle school. I'm so sad I never got to be. Yeah. I tried really, really hard, but the flute was not for me. No, yeah. I um, I was the first girl drummer in my town, and um, but I was a little pipsqueak, so I had to fake the piccolo a few times in marching band before <laughs> I was big enough. You made it before I was big enough to carry a snare drum and actually march for any uh, length oh. of time. Oh, so. that's fantastic! So did you do parades then? I did do oh, parades. Fantastic. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. So you know. So you know what they're going through. Right I do. Now. There's yeah. a lot of uh, get in line, get organized, hurry up and wait around. Yes. You know. Um, but thank you to all the volunteers. I'm sure the Kiwanis um, would like to thank all the volunteers. Um, takes a village to put on anything this big. It does, and we should mention that our office, Keller Williams Merrimack Valley, is a big part of that set of volunteers. We are everywhere out here in Westford today, helping people park, find. Um, where a place to sit, a safe place for the kids to be, all of that. Keller Williams is really all over this event, and we couldn't be more proud to be part of that yeah, office. Absolutely. Ke Keller Williams Merrimack Valley, we're located at Three Land Drive here in Westford, right behind Bamboo. That's right. So if you have any real estate, we're, we're here to help you. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. hello. Oh, how are you? Live on TV. Here is, you want to say hello? Here's one yep. of our colleagues, Erica wow. Rayom, and her daughter, Olivia. And, uh, yeah, come, come take yeah. Come, come, come around here and sit right here. Come on. We're just going to invite a Keller Williams agent no, to come no, chat with right, us well, or Erica, not. Why don't you come? You're new to Westford. I am. All right. Well, we'll interview you in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. You guys go enjoy the parade and come back and see Have us. Have a great time. All right. Enjoy your first parade, Olivia. Yes. Olivia Rayom. Oh, it's no, your second? It's her okay. second. All right, my mistake. Officially, All it right. is her second parade. Oh, Good to know. Bang, bang.
Here we, we are go. off with a bang. Oh, all there right. We go. Started I'm with the sirens. And like we said, that's Officer McEnany and his family and the lead cruiser. So Such hello a great to them. Yeah, hello, <laughs> police officers. Thank you for everything that we that you guys do for us in Westford. And you know, really a great department. So friendly, so accessible. I know you do a lot of charity work with them. I do. I yeah. do. Um, we had a meeting recently for Live for Live for the ride run we're having at the end of July, July yep. 24th, and. Um, Captain Pick was nice enough to meet with uh, Jody Marchand and myself yeah. to, um, you know, plan out the routes and, um, you know, they were um, to, to let us give us all the pointers that we need to make it a safe and a happy event for everyone. That's wonderful. That's amazing. All right. Well, look at these uh, couple of okay, kids here yeah. standing there with their shopping bags. Obviously they are so ready. <laughs> they ha are, have come prepared yeah. and they are planning to take home a big haul it's today. It's like a reverse trick or treat. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. We will let the Good sirens move. go off for a moment. All right. Oh, there goes some candy. We're going to wave to the color guard. Yep, so this is the Westford Police Department and Honor Guard, and we have um, Lieutenant Holmes, Sergeant Paval, Officer Burns, Detective Bernadin, and Officer Mariano. Oh, there they go. And there they go. That's his whole family in that car right yep, there. That's the, nice. The Officer McInerney and his family waving. There we go. Perks of being a child of a police officer. Yep. All right, and now here we are, the, the Westford Kiwanis is coming at us. Without the Westford Kiwanis. That's right, they are They're, the organizers of yep, this parade and event. The biggest fundraising event of the year. They give back a lot with the money that they raise. They, um, they do scholarships. <clears throat> what else, Mary? Um, they, make, they help elect the Apple Blossom Queen, and they yep. do all sorts of things with the Girl Scouts, and they do projects all sorts of um, fun stuff with the Historical Society and the museum. That's right. There is all Bill right, Arpino, Bill, and, uh, no, Bill, Bill Pazaricki, and Linda right Arpino. I am. <laughs> yep. Hi, Bill and Hi, Linda. guys. <laughs> That's Bill uh, Pazaricki <laughs> and Linda Arpino from the Pazaricki Arpino team here in Westford, Keller Williams, Merrimack Valley. Yep, and you the wave with your left hand. Right? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this not working yeah, for you? Yeah, that's not work. <laughs> All right, here, here we have we the go. Westford Band, Westford Academy Marching Band, and uh, Middle School Band. Listen to that go. Have a good drum line. Love that. been here for a little while and graduated with West Point Academy <laughs> out of uh, in 1962. Yeah, one of my favorite stories about him is that, you know, he owns um, Cook Oil and um, was always there to help anyone in need um, through rough times, no matter what, with, um, you know, feed assistance and all of that, just really involved in the community. Hi, Chet! <laughs> <laughs> I love that car. That's too. a really That's nice, a fancy car. car. So congratulations to Chet Cook for being Kiwana's yes. person of the year. Actually, you asked me a favorite thing about parades. Yes. Old cars. 
Oh, it's one of my favorite You're things. So funny. You know, there's so much vintage about you. Mary. It's so weird. I don't know where it comes from. Well, I don't think you go back quite this far. But <laughs> I would like to. <laughs> so, approaching us now is the Westford Minutemen, and they're a group bringing uh, that enjoys bringing 18th century heritage um, of Westford to the 21st century through reenactments and local events like the parade. Love the garb really hot to be in that, um, Love that. I would think. Yeah, it's very warm. Um, but but look those at their men at men. formation yep. and um, their period garb. And so if you have any interest in getting involved in that. Um, They're know. very involved. They have lots of events and activities going on. You can check them out. They do have a website. You can check them out. Yep. But I just love it. The costumes are great. The What is that, a piccolo? A I don't fife know. and drums. A fife and drums. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> to all of you um, for the to be crowned the queen and um, hopefully the scholarship uh, recipient. Yes, and that'll be crowned later today after the parade down at the Abbott School. Yep. So next we have the uh, Middlesex County Sheriff's Department. Um, you know, they keep the roads safe. That's right. The sheriff in our um, county. Middlesex. That's right. So, They're uh, looking very official. We appreciate all they do for us. <laughs> Absolutely. There go the sirens, showing off their equipment there. Yeah, I think Great they got job. that cruiser washed, especially for today. They sure did, polished it right <laughs> Everything up. Everything is fit polished. Everything looks beautiful. Look at beautiful. their um, oh. honor guard and how shiny their shoes are. They're, Mary, what do you I think, think I need my sunglasses for yeah. those shoes. <laughs> those are great. Absolutely. And that's a, that you don't ever really want to be in the back of this um, van, right. but it is a great van and yep. it's got lots of, <laughs> lots of <space>. flashy lights. <laughs> lots of flashy and lights. And in this beautiful BMW convertible is the Kwanians of the Year, David and Carol Jewett. Thank you, David and Thank Carol. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you for all you do. So, um, David and Carol have been members of the Kiwanis Club um, for many, many years. And in fact, Carol um, was one of the first women when they opened it up. It used to be an all male organization. So, thank you, oh, Carol, for paving the way. Thank yes. you, Carol. <laughs> yes, that's so, awesome. Thank you for all you do. So, next we have the uh, Westford Cub Scouts and scouting. That's um, right. Hmm. So, the here. Cub Scouts are um, so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at them. They're yep. all just so we have Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. Yep. Yeah, uh, they're all just hi guys. running around throwing candy out. Hi, Cub Scouts. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and I are close enough that I can tell her. She can her. tell she me to wave it in my get face, my hand out. You should of her have probably face. switched sides because I'm a lefty and you're a righty. <laughs> we didn't so now think we can both that. wave in front of my face. Next year. Right? Next we'll do year. it next year. It's yeah. fine. Next year, that'll be good. Yep. But oh, look at that little go kart. That looks oh, like that fun. Looks like a I think that's probably a project, yep. a go kart race. And then. Pinewood Derby. Yep. Guys and wow, all right, look at that. What do we have now, here? What is Westford this coming Sportsman up? Club. Oh, so there we go. Local organization, they have, I don't know, what is it, 200 acres? 200 acres. Do many, many sporting, fishing, yep. outdoorsy type things yep. on. Right I, on the line of Broughton, I love the float. Too. It's our first uh, float, really, yes. the parade. Great float. Yep. If you see there, they've got animals. animals. They have a dinosaur, right. which is I interesting. Right. I don't know if you're hunting dinosaurs Maybe right now. Maybe they would have. No. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of fun community <laughs> events. They have a fishing event, among other things. And it uh, looks like we have um, another uh, Cub Scout, Pack 95. Yep. So, hello, Troop 95. Hi, Troop 95. Hello, Pack 95. Hi guys! How we doing? You guys having fun? <laughs> yeah! So they're all in their uniforms and they've got their candy they're handing out. Hi! <laughs> and thank you to the parents that support the scouts. Absolutely. All the scouts. Great point, uh, friends. Yeah. Yes. yes. There's but a lot that goes... Uh, that there is goes a lot of work involved. Running this and yep. giving your kids this great experience. Right, so there's a uh, lot of work involved, and those parents look so dedicated. Yep. And even on this 
beautiful day. It's a little warm to be in your Cub Scout it uniform. Is, so thanks, Mom and Dad, and for all of that yeah. stuff. Here comes so, one of our next Apple yeah. Blossom nominees. So this looks like it might be um, Megan Crazy. Okay. Um, there so. she is. She's got a Hello. cool convertible Mercedes. Hi. Hello. Congratulations. Congratulations, Megan, on your nomination. I see they put a um, sign on the front of the car. That's very so thank sweet. Thank you for that. That helps us a lot. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here Whoa. comes the Fletcher Library. Um, and they are doing an Into the Woods parade theme yeah. here. Uh, it looks like we've got a Pied Piper coming at yep, us and Pied a little Piper. mousy right next to her. Always a parade favorite, this group at the Fletcher it. Library. They go all out, very creative. Uh, people always are talking about how great their float is and all of that. So, help. yeah, thank you. Hello. <laughs> great, great, yeah, thank into you. Into the Woods, Fletcher Library. Thank you, Fletcher Library, for all you do and all the people that support them. Uh, it's just a great library, a great resource for our town. Yeah, great kids programs. Um, the book sale is always a big hit. They just do a lot, and so happy to be back in person after COVID. Yes. That um, I think you know everybody's so excited to step up their game. Oh, wow. All right. Here we have. Uh, Check the out the WestfordLibrary.org. You can get so much more information oh, there. Fairy tales come alive. Oh. Yeah, there's Rapunzel, so, okay, and some princesses, we've got, there's we've got Dorothy, Snow White, and there's yep. Gingerbread, oh, the there's Evil Queen, there's another Pied Piper, there like an evil queen, a oh, pirate, there's a wolf, a little scary, oh, little Red, Red Riding, Riding Hood, Hood. Yep. a little little piglets who blow their house down. <laughs> Look at the little houses, yeah. I love it, they've got right. a straw, right. a wood, right. and a brick. brick. That's we great. know which one. Uh, yeah. Which one works? We, if you need advice on which of those houses to buy, let us know. Yes, yes, yeah. we can help. We're <laughs> yeah, we can help agents. you figure that out. Uh, brick may be the most um, sturdy. Sturdy yeah. one of the. I just would yeah. avoid the hay houses. Yep. So yeah. here we have the Suburbanettes, obviously a baton twirling group. Yeah. And they're from Chelmsford. Beautiful, sparkly. They uh, really have their stuff together. Very synchronized. Yes. You can tell they've worked hard. Woo! That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, looks go twirl great. with them. That looks like a lot of fun. That really does. So, I don't know that I would be able to do this. This no. must take a lot of practice and, and concentration. discipline. And yep. they're walking and doing that. Like, that's I what I'm saying. I can barely gum at the same time. Right, so. moving and throwing <laughs> things and catching it. Oh, here right. comes our van. Western cat van. Hello. Woo. Sarah Fletcher driving. There's we have our Christy cute van. and Susan. Yep, dressed like a cat. So thank you, Westwood Cat, again. Yep. You know, without their live streaming, we wouldn't be here. That's right. <laughs> for thank you for inviting us to do this for you, yep. and we couldn't be more proud to be associated with Westford Cat, a really yep. truly great production company and now here's, at, in Westford. Yep. Here's another um, uh, Apple Blossom Queen, queen nominee. Nominee. That's this right. is Emily. Emily. Yep. So hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Congratulations. All right. Oh, she's got a beautiful dress on. Yep. They all do. They, they all do. look so they all look gorgeous. beautiful. We yep. wish them all the best of luck, really. Absolutely. Um, and future. there's a scholarship involved, so that means they're heading off to college and going to be using that money yep. for education. Well, and these guys need no introduction. This is the uh, Westford right. <laughs> Bagpipe Group. Yeah, but, well, Fire Department fire and department. Color Guard, I believe. Pipes and drums. The Pipes and Drums. Yep. The Westford Fire Department. They're all in their kilts and they sound amazing. Back in Scotland. Yep. There they go. As though firefighters don't do enough, then they get I know. to do this and go out in the community. That's right. It's really That's pretty right. neat. I like that a lot. We're actually, Mary and I are outside of the old fire station here in Westford. If you've ever been to the new one, hopefully you went to the grand opening of it a couple years ago before COVID. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous and just mm. like a state of the art facility and um, you know the fire department like the police department in Westford and all the public departments do a really great job and we really appreciate you. Yeah, yeah we do. Alright, so now this brings us to the Westford Museum and Historical Society. If you've never yes. been down over there, it's around the corner from where we are. An awesome, awesome facility and we're Looks lucky to have great. it. And uh, oh, there's the Westford Knight. Oh, so uh, a, yeah. there's a knight over there. We've got beautiful yep. hats in the car. Uh, the the town historians, historians are Marilyn Day, Jeff Hall, and Bob Oliphant. Yep. So thank you, Westford historians, for uh, you know keeping track of uh, our great town. Yep. 
All right, so we have another par um, apple, apple blossom, blossom parade so let's see. queen scholarship. This one recipient. hasn't told us her name, so what do we it's not? Yeah. Um, I think Carly Davy is That's my guess. Probably Carly yep. Davy. Yeah. Congratulations, Carly, yes, and good luck. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Yep. Who are we having coming next down I the pike? It's know. sort of held up down there. It I sounds know. like there's Something a big, big production are going on. Yes. We can't quite see it yet, but hopefully oh. our cameras are catching that. <laughs> I have a suspicion it is martial arts coming at us, oh, some and they're going to stop and yeah. do some forms probably for us to take a look that at. That could be world class martial arts here in yes. Westford, a local business. So let's take a look. I see, uh, yeah, I think you're right. Information about them can be found at westfordwcma.com if you're interested in yep. getting into the martial arts, world class martial arts. Could that be Master Huang arts. there? It could uh, be, looks like so. it, yes. Oh, look at all of them. Wow. What a showing, they've got so many kids out all today. Right. Let's see what they've got to show us. Another parent involved activity mm. where you have to bring your kids, Taekwondo, here they go. Ooh. This, this is fabulous. Is, this is the first time that it just made me well up a little bit watching <laughs> the parade because all of these kids have come out and they're so excited and all of the parents are so proud of them and the photos are out. It's just one of those things. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at Batman as we speak. Batman and Boba Fett? Or um, yeah, I'm not them. sure. I'm not Hello. sure. Hello. Would you like, Hello, a you? Would you like some candy? Some candy? Yeah. We've got a visitor here We've at our a, table. Yep. So excited. There they go. Bye, you Batman. Two, Bye, if Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Operation Camp. Um, this is the um, uh, Team Forever Young and Friends Never Friends Forget. Never forget. So this is for um, kids of veterans and of um, other people in need for scholarship. Here's the Abbott. Hello. Abbott School PTO. PTO. Thank you for all the parents that work with the school to make things run smoothly and raise money for teachers and. Um, all of what you do. And here's another oh, uh, gorgeous car. Apple I mean, queen. Apple Blossom Queen nominee. nominee. <laughs> Look at this car. Mary. And that is a gorgeous. Oh gorgeous, my goodness. Gorgeous. My husband would know that I am uh, drooling over this yes, car. That's beautiful. And I believe that might be uh, Regini Cannon. Yes. yes. Or Canon. I'm not sure. Yep. I love the color uh, of her dress. I know. So she looks brilliant. Absolutely blue. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure she's really smart, like all the other ones. Yes. The scholarship thing. It's right. not just about, you it's know, not about your dress. all very, very nice looking young women. Um, right. Very but composed the staff, and put together. Am and I right that the staff at Westford Academy ha picks out the nominees yep. of, the, of the sort of most well rounded uh, girls in the, in the senior we class? Got, we need to mention the, um, the uh, robotics. robotics yes. club. Yes. Check this out. The Middlesex this County Robotics Club, the they Storm Gears. They have two robots, well, one robot, and it's playing soccer with another person. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is cool. Look at what they've done. That's and so impressive. Zip I it around. I didn't have these in my program. The um, gummy bears? I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Um, I do know Goldfish Swim School, um, okay. which was, um, you know, all, all kids should learn to swim. That is and the first Lego le League is what we're looking at. Oh, that is right. a Lego okay. League, nice. and they have brought some Lego creations with them. Oh, wow. What a fun group that to be a part of. Group. If you just yep. don't grow out of that Lego space, there's a place yeah, for you. You could maybe get a job someday. <laughs> you I could get know. a job at the Lego that. League. Um, Dream Ballet School is um, okay. up next. Are they coming up next? Excellent. Yeah. So a lot of these are local businesses, yeah. and we love that they want to participate in the parade um, year after year. Look at these amazing ballerinas Aww. of all colors. 
and see that's uh, so something I did. Really that's cute. what I did. I did a little bit of that. I did the ballet, and I yeah. did. I, I walked in my little tutu. Yes. And in the parade. I think once a graceful ballerina, always a graceful ballerina. Oh really? You Ooh, think so? I do. Put your hand on my face again. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mary. I love you too, Mary. <laughs> They're so. Oh hi, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, and now we have another uh, so, queen nominee for the Apple Blossom Scholarship, and uh, this is Abby. This one's so Abby. Hello, Abby. Hello, Abby. Very nice car. It's not vintage, yeah. so, you know. <laughs> Hi, Abby. Congratulations. Congratulations. The nomination, so we wish them all really the best of luck yeah. with that. So come down and see that ceremony. If yep. you're if you're not here already, come check that out and see yep. who wins. Head towards the Abbott School. That's where mm -hmm. they're going to do the ceremony for the uh, Kiwanis Person of the Year, Chet Cook, for the Kiwanians of the, of year, the year, David yep. and Carol Jewett, mm -hmm. and for the um, Apple Blossom Queen. Parade Queen Scholarship nominee. Recipient. Recipient. Yes. Yeah. They will pick the recipient. Yes. Absolutely. What do we have coming down now? Uh, I have orange and blue coming at me. This looks like, oh, we did this. Um, All right, I'm going to switch pages. Do, do, do. Youth lacrosse, perhaps? I don't know, flowers to empower? This uh, looks like martial arts as like well, actually. Martial arts. Could be a late parade entry. Could be. Um, we might not have the most updated roster. That's okay. That's all yep, right. That's but we do right. have martial arts coming at us. They've got a great float going. Yes, they do. Orange and, and blue. They're waving yep. at us. Hello, guys. A little bit older. Kids, yeah, um, a lot of uh, black belts. My Ooh, goodness. Wow. All right. Wow. Now that's the scary bunch. All right. And now here are the Westford Lacrosse. Here we go. So, Westford Lacrosse yep. kids. My um, my couple of my kids played lacrosse Today. growing up. Yep, here yeah. in Westford. Are so, they doing um, it in college now? No. Um, you know, it was not a passion, but it yeah. was definitely they tried it. Um, boys and girls. So, great sport. Uh, great to see it for everybody. Yep. Great sport, and, uh, and there goes mom yeah, the holding great. the lacrosse yep. stick for everybody, Again. as per usual. Yep. Oh, <laughs> all right. So here's flower to empower. Flowers to empower. Great. Um, That's cute. I, They've got yeah, little really daisies. Cute. I'm not really sure what they do. But we will find out more. Um, I'm sure there's some empowerment group that does yeah. wonderful things for the community. Hello. Yep, I love their flowers, their little flowers, very cute. Very cute. I yep. wonder if somebody sewed those. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. here's yeah. the Neshoba Youth Hockey <gasps> Look at all the hockey. Woo! Right. Hockey! Six up! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love hockey players. They are a breed. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they've got little goalies ever, uh, uh, yeah. on wheels. Nets on wheels. Yeah. Yep. And then they are playing as they walk. It's pretty impressive stuff. Yep. And another, you know, giant commitment for parents. Yes. You know, Hockey. Early morning. Some people do leagues, you know, and are off all the time. So that's absolutely um, right. You know, I love it though. Got a good bunch of kids coming through now, tossing candy everywhere. Um, all right. Uh, oh my goodness! Um, I see something big coming down the pike. Yeah. These may just be. Um, I think these are parade attendees oh, heading down. Some have down. candy, but uh, yeah. it's unclear. Some have red sock shirts. You know what we're looking things. at? Westford residents having a great time on a beautiful day. Yeah. Yes. That's a really good point. Mary. Yes. <laughs> That's a very good point. These are all the people so, following into the parade to everyone. head down to the Abbott School to see the nominees um, <laughs> be crowned queen. Yes. Yes. Hello, Westford. seen as many Keller Williams people as I was expecting around today. I, we're really in. Um, like the, we're in. Yeah. Um, there's the um, Puzzle Ricky Arpino team that yep. was there. We saw uh, another one of our colleagues, the new agent, that joined our office not that long ago. Yep. And um, a couple, so we saw another one earlier with yeah. her son. And um, wow, we look at the size everywhere. Of it. This is huge. This, um, I feel like this bull is on the side of a road somewhere and now it's being moved I, I, like have i seen this somewhere before i really don't know um but it's awesome <laughs> it is really a, a thing to behold that is for oh, sure you know what when we were saying that that was actually the westford youth um 
baseball and softball that's league. They were a little bit out of order. Exactly. That's okay. why they all had baseball shirts on and stuff. So, yeah. Um, hello there. How hello. are you? How are Come you doing? Come around here and take a seat and be our guest for a moment. That's all right. We will do hot and sweaty. We'll have some shade. So, who do we have here? Introduce yourself, please. Um, my name is Stephanie Eck, and I'm the chair of the event. And Wonderful. I have to thank the whole community for coming out today. It's absolutely amazing out here. The weather is perfect. People are perfect, and it's just a great day. It's a day. beautiful day, right? Yeah. 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 So this is the first year that um, we've been able to live stream. Yep. And um, I'm Mary McCauley, and this is Mary Elliott. Nice. And we've been Hi, nice to meet you. for Westford Cat. First time they've live streamed it. And so, um, you know, but it's the 53rd parade here in Westford. Correct. And how long have you been the chair? Um, officially... I would say this is a third parade. There was sort of a, this was the first one I was really responsible for, and it was a bit of a challenge coming back from sort of a dead stop, but right. you know. Right, and now, but you're happy to be in person like everyone else. Happy to be in person, you, like, happy to be here. Like and a flare. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's, it's so well done this year. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for everything that you've done. You're very welcome. Yeah. Um, come to the fireworks tonight. Um, oh, Enterprise. Yeah, Enterprise Bay. Yeah. Right yeah. there. Um, sponsored all of the fireworks, is that correct? Yep, yep. so uh, so we have a collaborative arrangement with Fiesta, and between us and Fiesta, um, we pay for the fireworks, and on the back of this truck, yeah. so that's for oh, wow. forest and brush fires. Showing off some of the equipment that they have that's and right. use and train on. Yep. <laughs> looks like fun. And it looks like some of our firefighters have brought their families with them to help throw yeah. the candy, which Truly is wonderful. Truly a community event. Yes, absolutely. I can't hear you anymore. I can't hear you either. <laughs> um, I do love that um, that oh, you wait, it's left the, the best for last in exactly. the sense of the so big I will, fanfare with the fire I, department yes, and the highway will, department. I don't know if you noticed, but the fire department people who are marching are significantly in front of the fire trucks. <laughs> Yeah, There's a reason to be why away from the noise. They've they, been they were asked. <laughs> yeah. They asked to be moved away. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's a beautiful day. Um, the last, you know, we started Wednesday with the carnival, and the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday were amazing. Um, fireworks are at nine tonight, and we're gonna have a tribute to Ukraine at the very beginning. Okay. So, um, you know, and come I, out and see I the fireworks. I understand that this event is the um, biggest fundraiser for the Kiwanis um, of the year. Is that yes, true? it is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And um, how early do you guys start planning this amazing parade and event? That's a great question, yeah. Um, I start worrying about it almost immediately. Like tomorrow. Um, I would say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I would say in the fall, but we get really serious in January. Yeah, uh, okay. It but takes uh, a lot. the last, last couple of years we've had sort of, we started in 2020 and then we stopped. And then we did it again in 21. So, you know, it was, you know, it's. Yeah. 
Well, thank you. A lot of yes, inertia. Thank you for all really your through. volunteering and hard work. And thank you. That was amazing. Yeah, that was always. so much fun. And so happy thank to you. be back. Yes. Yeah, in person is wonderful. We have so many people to thank for this parade. You especially. Yep, so go to our um, westford.org slash Kiwanis. We have a sponsors page. Yep. Um, and view all the sponsors and patronize the sponsors. Yeah, um, absolutely. Everything on the website will be up there until we get around to next year. So they'll be up there and live for the next year or so. Great. Okay. Um, the links for the, the live stream are going to be up there, are up there already as well. I put this up last night. So Oh, perfect. You know, terrific. Go We're watch us again on TV because yes. you didn't get enough yes. the first time. So <laughs> thank you once again. You're very welcome. For a wonderful event. We really yes. appreciate all you and the Kiwanis do. Great, thank, thank you. Really thank, you. thank you. Go enjoy the rest job. of the day. Well, no, yeah. her day isn't over. We get <laughs> to, yeah. My day isn't over until the, you know, the Fire, last over, firework. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we get her going out. That's right. Thank anyway, you. But thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, thank you. And all we right. want to thank Westford Cat as well. Yes. And this amazing oh. team. Here, I'll hold this oh, one. one. Um, and the amazing team that is able to pull this off. We just watched an amazing parade go by. Lights, camera, action happened on this side, and we couldn't have done it without Nick and Tristan and, and Sarah Fletcher and Melanie. And Melanie yeah. Everybody involved. Everyone at Westford Cat, including um, our uh, thank you to our sustaining member Barbara yes. Woodbury for continued support of free community media and news coverage. And Whole Pet Veterinary Center of Westford is an underwriter for the ongoing production of the Adoption Pet of the Week, with over 230 pets featured that have found their forever that. homes. And um, to the business members, obviously us, Married to Real Estate, Married the to Marys, Real Estate, um, the Ed Cohen Variety Show, Sewanee Arts, Enterprise Bank, Bamboo Fine Asian Cuisine, Tie on the Fly, Westford Cultural Council, League of Women Voters, and Cameron Senior Center. And just so you know, the Westford Cat Annual Membership Meeting will be held on uh, Thursday, June 16th, starting at 6 p.m. This is an in-person event held at the Westford Cat Studios, 487 Broughton Road. Your membership renewal supports free community media, local news coverage, and helps Westford Cat grow school year sports coverage and more. Westford Cat supports area students with scholarships. Uh, internships, first job opportunity, capstone project, media production, training, field trips, tours, summer camps for middle school age kids. Westfordcat.org, everyone. Thank you. And thanks it. for joining us for the 53rd Annual Apple Blossom Parade. That's right. <laughs> thanks.